are in any real danger. My daughter Daphne is in with our food lab experts, two of the leading folks on phthalates. Yes, indeed. So Daphne, what do you got here? Well, we are lucky to be joined by toxicologist Gary Ginsburg. Thank you for being here. Hi. And health home expert and phthalate activist, Maya James. So, Maya, actually, you've done some of your own testing, and you believe the problem might stem from how the cheese is powdered. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Sure, yeah. Um, as Dr. Oz mentioned, we know it's in dairy, most likely from the way that he showed the tubing that is used to milk cows. I've actually tested milk straight out of the cow, fresh milk, um, and then tested that same farm's milk once it came out of the tank um, after it had been processed through the tube, and indeed it was significantly higher. So we know that that's one source of contamination. However, the powdered mac and cheese has even higher levels than that. So there's some additional contamination happening after the milk has been turned to cheese and then before the cheese is turned to powder. My hunch, and I don't know this, but I'm guessing that something about the way it's ground is on some kind of a plastic piece of machinery, and that's, that's making cheese, powdered cheese and mac and cheese even worse than natural cheeses that the study looked at. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's my suspicion. He reached out to the FDA. Yes. 